Hi, I'm Pamela Gold and I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I come from a theater background and I've been auditioning for TV and film for probably a year and a half. And so I had just taken another course that was more about mindset and um, changing your inner game, but I still felt like I needed more help um, with the technical elements. So I had been forced to purchase some equipment during quarantine so that I could self-tape at home, but I wasn't super confident about how it looked and whether I had the right color backdrop and just different techniques. And then editing was a whole nother issue that I had started to do on my own, but wasn't very confident with it. I tend to be a perfectionist and so I would and I still do, and I'm working on this, <laughs> uh, take a lot of takes, you know, like take myself over and over and over and let me do it this way and just one more time. And so I just needed to feel more confident overall, not only in my delivery on camera, but also in the technical elements of uh, taping. I honestly wasn't sure how much new information I was going to gain, but I felt like any new information was going to be valuable. And since I had the time during quarantine when auditions weren't coming in, I figured, why not try and up my game in any way that I can so I'm ready when auditions come. So I think I was expecting a little bit of new information, but really was looking forward to having a community of people who were studying the same way. And I really admired Christine. And, you know, Christine's a, someone, for me, I, I think I connected with the fact that um, she came from theater, from Broadway, which I did as well, was living in Atlanta for a time, which I am now. And so I really related to her journey and thought, gosh, if she can find this success, then so can I. And so when I got in, I guess I was expecting just, you know, more technical information. And I think what I found was a lot more than I was expecting in a great way. I mean, I got the technical information that I was seeking and some, and there was some of the mindset work at the beginning, which I think was really valuable for me as a reinforcement because I said I was just I had just taken another course that was all about mindset and inner game and self-confidence and all of that but it was just a great combination of the two but I, I really can't say that I've taken another class anywhere that marries the two so well um, and even in the on-camera classes that I've taken in studio it's really valuable to be in that situation in a room and watch other people's self tapes but uh, the one exercise, our self-tape, our final self-tape exercise is like the gift that just keeps giving because you can watch these self-tapes over and over as if you're in a class of 100 people and you're watching what they're doing and can really look at it critically and say, ah, that's something that I see and something that I could change if I were to do that or think about if I were to do that. So I, I would say I got a lot more out of the course than I was expecting um, and, I, and I came in expecting valuable information because I was paying a price that I felt was a, an investment, um, but I definitely feel like I got my investment and then some. I didn't have, in terms of booking, there, was, there, there wasn't there was anything, honestly, I didn't have a lot of auditions coming in, but that wasn't a bad thing because I was able to devote more of my time and energy to the course. Um, not to say that there's not time to do the course even as auditions are coming in and things are picking up because it's not homework heavy, um, but I'm still, I mean, there's still modules that I, I haven't, some of the bonus modules I haven't even looked at yet that I'm excited to, to get into. In terms of wins, I would say that just some of the research um, details that Christine offered were things that I was like no brainers once you thought about it, but I think most actors don't take the extra time and the extra um, steps to do the research. Little things like that were very helpful. Um, also, I think the branding exercise was was interesting and helpful. It's not that I had any major revelations. It just reinforced, I think, what I already knew. But to get concrete validation of, okay, this is how I read, this is how people see me, uh, helps me in, in going for those roles moving forward. And I will say right after the course ended, I had an audition that came in, and this I consider a personal win, that um, I did two takes. Uh, before the course, I would not have done that. And I sent it to my my agent and she called me and said, I just sent your audition. I can't let it go without letting you know how good it was and how, what nice work that was. And it was so subtle and I loved your two different takes. And I was like, yes. So that was really great. And now I'm, I'm, I've am I'm been called back several times by that casting director and another casting director for auditions that I've submitted since the course ended and they're calling me back for the same project, you know, the same show, but different roles. And so I know that's a great sign that that my work is um, impressing them. So that's a, that's a big win for me. I think of Christine like your 
true blue best friend who is no nonsense and is going to tell you like it is because she loves you and she wants you to grow and enjoy doing what you love and get better at it. Um, that's not to say I wouldn't call it tough love because you never feel shamed, you never feel embarrassed. It's a completely open um, environment and a, and a safe space, but she's just so passionate and so enthusiastic about what she does. And it's so clear that she wants to share what she knows with other actors so that they can achieve the same kind of success that she has had. And she doesn't hold anything back. She doesn't keep any secrets. If there's new information that comes during a question and answer section, um, which is actually one of what that was one of my favorite parts of the course as well is just having the opportunity to hear other people's questions and so much new information came through those question and answer sessions that sometimes she would add more information to the portal and say, oh, you know what? I did this training on XYZ and I think you guys would really benefit from it. So let me put it into the portal and that's something else that you can watch and learn from. So I just really enjoyed uh, she was, I, again, very positive, um, really just can't say enough about how much um, fun it was to see what wig she would be wearing each time we saw her on screen. Um, I don't know how many she has, it's quite amazing, <laughs> but um, she's just fun, you know, and she loves to play and it's clear that she loves what she, what she does and she just wants to share that joy and that passion with all of you and all of us. So I was on the fence until literally the 11th hour. And I think one of the reasons actually I decided to take it was that I I emailed Christine literally like two hours before the deadline or maybe sometime that afternoon. And I said, I'm, I have questions. I'm not sure whether this course is right for me right now. And she emailed me back and said, what's your phone number? Can we talk? And I was like, oh, okay. And I was happy for her to call me. And we had a conversation and it wasn't a hard sell conversation. It was her really wanting to find out what my concerns were and what my previous courses had been. And then she left it in my court, you know? And honestly, I think when she said, when she hung up, she probably thought I wasn't taking the course. Cause she's like, it sounds like you got a lot on your plate, on your mind, maybe you need to work on that stuff. And then maybe next year you can join it. And I just hung up and I thought, if not now, when? I have time. This was an opportune moment, moment with the quarantine and things slowing down when, why wouldn't I do everything that I possibly could to help myself? Um, and again, I realize moving forward, some of you may be watching this when it's not quarantine or when, God help us please, or maybe when things are starting to pick up or they've already picked up. But I think that if you were looking for a course that will help you with the actor's mindset, which I think can be sometimes very judgmental and self-destructive and make that into something much more positive that can help and support you. And you're also looking for really juicy, useful tools for self-taping, for the technical aspects of what you need to do to prepare for your character, um, to do your research, um, to think about colors that you might wear, wardrobe, I mean really everything you can possibly think of in preparing for auditions, then I think this course is a, a great idea and a, and, a, and a worthwhile investment. And it, you, as a bonus, you get really personal attention from Christine, these Q&A sessions. They're not just these general questions. She'll answer you very specifically about something very specific to you. And you get a community of people. The Bookmore TV community on Facebook is so supportive. And if you need help, um, if you need support, if you need a, a self-taping pod, someone's formed from our class, a, a pod of people who are willing to help each other in this self-taping world. Um, really, I think you just, the dividends just keep paying out. So I really think you, you can't go wrong um, and just do it. It's worth it.